What is up my lovely people? Thanks so much for tuning back into my channel. This is CutiePie88. So today we are back with an exciting review. Some of you may have heard of this product, some of you may not have, but I am here to show you guys how you can get a realistic looking scalp on your wigs, whether it's HD lace or not without bleaching your knots. So bleaching does seem like it's something of the past. Like, do you see a lot of bleaching the knots videos up, you know, lately? I haven't, and I thought that was quite interesting. But today, a lot of wigs are like HD, have tiny knots, things like that. But y'all know them wigs can be very, very expensive. Those like HD, invisible knot, clear lace, that's gonna run you like $400 or more, depending on what you want. So I'm like, okay, I'm, I would never was an expert on how to bleach knots. And whenever I did, it always made the hair super brassy. Uh, the bleach leaked through the holes in the lace and it made the hair brassy and it actually made the lace orange. Like I could not stand it. So I literally just gave up on bleaching my knots and was like, you know what? I don't care if people see my knots or not, I, I, I don't care. If they see some people looking all close, so you, I don't even care if they see my knots. They know it's a wig, they know it's not my hair. I don't even care because I was so tired of bleaching my knots and it coming out so bad looking and it, make it, it makes it look even worse. So number one, I can't afford those expensive wigs that you can't see the knots. And number two, I was tired of bleaching my unit. So I'm like, okay, I just give up. But y'all, this product has been a savior to a lot of women and you guys it's all over YouTube it's all over Instagram so the company is called perfect line Swiss perfect line Swiss so this product that I'm about to show you it allows you to have a scalp like look to your wigs without bleaching the knots okay is revenue revolutionary so it is a lace wig grid filler and not eraser so it fills the grids because as you know once you look at a wig you can see the grids which is the little like holes in the lace that's called grids and the knots the knots like those little black balls you can see that makes a wig look like a wig um <laughs> i'd rather you see my lace grids than my knots seeing my knots is like oh uh. but Perfect Line Swiss wanted me to show you guys two of their mini grid knot concealer sticks. Let me see if my camera will focus. So two of their concealer sticks. So I asked them to send me the darkest color and also I believe the second to the darkest, which is Mitch. So you got Mitch and Dan. Yeah, so you got Mitch. And Dan so this is the deepest color Dan and this is the second to the deepest I think this one would work however for some reason the skin on my forehead tends to be darker than the rest of my face so I'm like you know what let me try Dan as well um, but yeah it literally converts all lace wigs to look like a real scalp it is so easy and like i said this is the mini stick they do have a larger version for um a little bit more money i'll leave the price the current prices right here and the ingredients are super super clean and it's not crazy chemicals um uh, mineral powder turmeric beetroot powder it includes rose water shea butter lemon and sage oil now this is the thing, keep in mind when buying this product, it is actually low pigmented. So it's going to look darker in the tube, but lighter when you apply it. So it will apply lighter. So as you can see, as you can see, Dan looks like it's quite deep, right? It looks like it's like, oh my God, that is gonna be way too dark for you, girl. It's gonna be way too dark for you, girl. <laughs> It's going to apply lighter than what it shows in the tube. So Dan and Mitch. So here is the product. I'm going to take it off. And here is the color Dan. 
and of course my um light is going to make it look a lot lighter as well my ring light but that is dan and as you can see that does look lighter than the two but they just wanted to show you that's their deepest shade and here is mitch this one looks like a better match but then again my skin plays tricks on me a lot um so here is mitch so as you guys may know you just heat this up and apply this directly to your parting space or your closure on your wig now i have been told to stay away from the front of your wig and only do it where the part is going to be but i'll show you guys what i mean so let's go ahead and hop right into it i have heard that um you heat up the product to make it more easier to blend because it's literally like a clay consistency and it's really hard in the tube so you need something to soften it up so you can um spread it easier and it also says caution you may burn yourself so when when you heat the stuff up with your blow dryer it will be hot so don't put it directly on your skin and when you put it on your wig please wait for it to dry um to make sure it's not going to burn you all right so enough talking let's go ahead and show you guys the wig that i'm going to use this product on and i'm going to give you two examples so i'm going to put dan in one part parting space and mitch on the other parting space and we're going to compare the two and i'll give you an example of how the wig unit looks in the sunlight before and after perfect line swiss all right let's hop right into it all right so we are up close and personal with this unit so i made sure this was all cleaned off with alcohol this is just, please ignore um my wig head she done been through storm in the rain but <laughs> uh so i wanted to get as close as possible uh, to show you as much detail as possible. So we are going to go ahead and blow dry. Um, so we're gonna start off with the product um, Mitch and we're gonna do that as the middle part and go ahead and blow dry this. So this is a mini stick. So what you do, you wanna twist the product up and it's a little tough to twist. Just let you guys know. So as you can see, it is coming up. You don't want to do it too much and you don't want to heat it up too, too hot because it'll melt all over the place. But just pump it up just enough to um, go ahead and melt the product, make it soft, and then rub it right directly on where the part will be. So as you can see, the product is like much shiny now and it's like the consistency of like milk chocolate. <laughs> so it does cool down quick. So what you wanna do while it's still warm, you just wanna rub this product and don't be afraid if it's like a little chunky, it's all right. And you wanna take it all the way back. Now, as you can see, there's a lot coming off. That's because it's really soft, but that's okay. Y'all don't be afraid go ahead and rub that in, but don't take it. You never want to take it to the very front of the wig. Okay. Because that will definitely cause some problems when you try to lay down the wig, the wig will not stick to your skin because literally it's like a clay product in between your skin and the lace. Your lace has to meet your skin in order for it to adhere properly. So you don't want this product to be on the lace because then it will not adhere to your skin properly. The lace will not stick to your skin properly. So you wanna just rub that in, avoid this area, the thinning, the thin area, and you're good to go. So once again, this is Mitch. So while it's still warm, what you wanna do, you wanna take your rat tail comb and you wanna kinda of push it in. So we're going to do this same step when we turn the wig around. But this is just getting in, getting the product deep in the knots and the grids, um, just to make sure they are fully covered. But there is one more step you gotta do when you turn the wig around. So just for fun, we're going to test out Mitch as well. Go ahead and twist, I'm sorry, test out Dan. We're gonna test out Dan. Like I said, this is the deepest color. And just because it doesn't fit me, I still want to show you guys how it looks. So go ahead, let's heat it up and then let's rub it onto another part of the wig that I'll part so you guys can see the Mitch color against my skin tone and Dan. All 
Okay, one thing I noticed about Dan, it melted a lot quicker than Mitch. So let's see, what side? I'll do this side. So I'm going to put Dan here. I keep wanting to say Mitch. We're gonna put Dan here. Rub, rub, rub. I didn't push it up as much I did with Mitch. I didn't want it to be too chunky. So you just wanna rub Dan in as, as you can see it is much lighter than it showed in the tube. The scalps are naturally lighter than your normal skin tone, so it's good. So that is Dan, you guys. That is the difference between Dan and Mitch. So rubbing in Dan as well. So now we're gonna flip the wig over and show you guys what it's looking like. Okay, so literally in person, this is already looking good. So what you wanna do, you wanna take your rat tail and you want to push the product. So like I said, it's like the consistency of clay and you're gonna know if you overdid it or not. <laughs> I probably overdid it because you can see like the product all on the side of the lace, but it's really kind of foolproof. If you need to remove this product, you just flip it on the side that you, you know, the other side of the wig and you wanna heat it up, heat that spot up and then um, wash it off. You may wanna apply a little bit of oil and just rub it as long as it has like heat applied to it, it should rub off easily. So as y'all can see, <laughs> I kind of overdid it. So you see the product spilling over to the side. So it's making the part look very wide, but that's okay. Like I said, I can show you guys how to clean that up. But as you can see, this is the point of the product. Do you see those black holes? So see here how you can see those black holes? You can't see that here. So that's the that's the difference. That's the point of this product. I can take it down just a little bit more, but you just have to be careful because if this is the area using to lay down on your skin, it's not gonna stick very well to your skin because that clay type product is between your skin and the lace. So it may not, it may not lay. So let me get something to see if I can kind of clean up this access. So hopefully this is a good before and after um, for you guys. As you can see, you can really see those knots, those black spots. And then over here, look at the difference. So definitely a difference, especially in person. You will see the difference. All right, y'all, so this is Dan. Dan gave me a little fit. Um, it was a little bit tougher, but it's not because of the product, it's because of the wig. Um, but here is Dan. As you can see, it's looking like scalp, you guys. I hope you can really see the difference and I hope it's not blurry, but it is a huge difference between the knots and where this product is laying. So this is Dan in low light. And this is Mitch. Mitch is giving, okay? scalp dan is too i just think the application of mitch was a little bit better but both of them are given like scalp and they're really really this product really really is concealing the knot so once again here is the knots and how normal knots look as you can see those black dots and that is with the product So no product, Perfect Line Swiss Knot Grid Concealer. Before, after, this is Mitch. Before, after.
All right, so this is Midge and Dan. Mitch and Dan. Hopefully you can see a difference. Alright guys, so that is my review for Perfect Line Swiss. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I definitely believe this product is worth it. It definitely ble beats bleaching your knots, especially if you're not an expert and don't know what products to buy to make it look good. This definitely looks better than having those black knots on your head. You may be like, okay, I don't think it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. It makes a huge difference in person. You may not be able to see it on camera, but it is worth it, you guys. Definitely pick it up if you're a beginner and if you can't uh, afford those expensive wigs. It looks bomb and spare yourself the embarrassment of people looking at them black knots on your head because I have had it happen to me and oh, it's just so embarrassing. <laughs> but y'all might not mind, y'all might not care. I want my wigs to look as natural and realistic as possible. And I definitely think this product deliver what it says it's going to do. So definitely drop a comment and like, drop a comment and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you Perfect Line Swiss for the products and I give them two thumbs up. Thanks for watching you guys. Bye.